Bolin. The Bolin, or, is an ancient and simple knot used to form a fixed eye at the end of a rope. It has the virtues of being both easy to tie and untie, most notably, it is easy to untie after being subjected to a load. The Bolin is sometimes referred to as king of the knots because of its importance. It is one of the four basic maritime knots, the other three are figure eight knot, reef knot, and clove hitch. The common, a buck number 1010, Bolin shares some structural similarity with the sheet bend, a buck number 1431. Virtually all end to end joining knots, i.e., bends, have a corresponding eye knot. For example, the corresponding eye knot of the sheet bend is the common, number 1010, Bolin. Along with the sheet bend and the clove hitch, the Bolin is often considered one of the most essential knots. Although the Bolin is generally considered a reliable knot, its main deficiencies are a tendency to work loose when not under load, to slip when pulled sideways, and the bite portion of the knot to capsize in certain circumstances. To address these shortcomings, a number of more secure variations of the Bolin have been developed for use in safety critical applications. The Bolin's name has an earlier meaning, dating to the age of sail. On a square rigged ship, a Bolin, sometimes spelled as two words, Bowline, is a rope that holds the edge of a square sail towards the bow of the ship and into the wind, preventing it from being taken aback. A ship is said to be on a taut Bolin when these lines are made as taut as possible in order to sail close hauled to the wind. The bowling knot is thought to have been first mentioned in John Smith's 1691 work A Sea Grammar under the name bowling knot. Smith considered the knot to be strong and secure, saying, The bowling knot is also so firmly made and fastened by the bridles into the cringles of the sails, they will break, or the sail split before it will slip. Another possible finding was discovered on the rigging of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Khufu's solar ship during an excavation in 1954. The bowling is used to make a loop at one end of a line. It is tied with the rope's working end also known as the tail or end. The loop may pass around or through an object during the making of the knot. The knot tightens when loaded at, pulled by, the standing part of the line. The bowlin is commonly used in sailing small craft, for example to fasten a halyard to the head of a sail or to tie a jib sheet to a clue of a jib. The bowlin is well known as a rescue knot for such purposes as rescuing people who might have fallen down a hole or off a cliff onto a ledge. This knot is particularly useful in such a situation because it is possible to tie with one hand. As such, a person needing rescue could hold onto the rope with one hand and use the other to tie the knot around their waist before being pulled to safety by rescuers. The Federal Aviation Administration recommends the bowline knot for tying down light aircraft. A rope with a bowline retains approximately two-thirds of its strength, with variances depending upon the nature of the rope as in practice the exact strength depends on a variety of factors. In the United Kingdom, the knot is listed as part of the training objectives for the Qualified Firefighter Assessment. A mnemonic used to teach the tying of the bowlin is to imagine the end of the rope as a rabbit, and where the knot will begin on the standing part, a tree trunk. First a loop is made near the end of the rope, which will act as the rabbit's hole. Then the rabbit comes up the hole, goes round the tree right to left, then back down the hole. This can be taught to children with the rhyme, up through the rabbit hole, round the big tree, down through the rabbit hole and off goes he. An alternative lightning method can also be used, see this animation. There is a potential with beginners to tie what is known as an Eskimo bowline. This faulty knot stems from an incorrect first step while tying the rabbit hole. If the loop is made backwards so that the end of the rope, the bitter end, is on the bottom, the resulting knot will be sideways. The final loop of a sideways bowline will slip. This makes it particularly dangerous in the case of an inexperienced sailor, who, in addition to having an insecure knot, is also less familiar with what to do should it come untied on the water. As noted above, the simplicity of the bullion makes it a good knot for a general purpose end of line loop. However, in situations that require additional security, several variants have been developed. The round turn bullion is made by the addition of an extra turn in the formation of the rabbit hole before the working end is threaded through. Similar to the double bowline, the water bowline is made by forming a clove hitch before the working end is threaded through. It is said to be stronger and also more resistant to jamming than the other variations, especially when wet. In this variation, the knot's working end is taken round the loop in the direction of the original round turn, then threaded back up through the original round turn before the knot is drawn tight. The Yosemite bowline is often used in climbing. The cowboy bowline, also called Dutch bowline, French bowline, and Portuguese bowline are variations of the bowline, each of which makes one loop. 
Names of knots are mostly traditional and may not reflect their origins. A running bowline can be used to make a noose which draws tighter as tension is placid on the standing part of the rope. The Birmingham bowline has two loops, the working part is passed twice around the standing part, the rabbit makes two trips out of the hole and around the tree. Other two-loop bowline knots include the Spanish bowline and the bowline on the bite, these can be tied in the middle of a rope without access to the ends. A triple bowline is used to make three loops. A Cossack knot is a bowline where the running end goes around loop start rather than the main part and has a more symmetric triangular shaped knot. A slipped version of the Cossack knot is called Kalmak loop. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.